Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to review the first and second parameter of find first child and wait for child. So we're just going to take a deep dive into that. So let's get started. So we're going to open up a script and service script service. Like always, we're going to name this test. And we are going to use the base plan for a rep representation. So usually, if there is a part that we don't know might not exist, then we'll use base play equals workspace find first child base play. Let's say if a, another script like wants to destroy this. So we'd use find first child if we want to check if a part is valid. And we don't know 100%. Because let's say if base plate was destroyed, then this would be false. Because base plate is not in the workspace. That is what this is going to return. So base plate, in this scenario, base plate would equal false. And that is what find first child does. It just checks if something is there. So you definitely want to use uh, find first child if you don't know if something's there but do not but do not use find first child if you know base plate is going to be there 100% of the time so in this scenario find first child is bad because we know that base plate's going to be in the game like there's nothing that's going to destroy it there's nothing that's going to remove it and we just know that it's going to be there so we have to use something called find uh wait for child wait for child so we'd use wait for child and what wait for child pretty much does is it waits for the object to be placed into the workspace. Because if we did workspace dot base plate, base plate not be uh, might not be in the workspace when we run in the game. There might be some yielding time because the game is slow. So right now we ran it and and everything's good, but. There is a possibility that base plate will spawn in too late and the script will run faster than base plate is going to be placed in the workspace. So we would use something called wait for child for uh, security measures because it might not be there in time before the script runs. Because the script can run faster, more faster than uh, the speed that the base plate will spawn in. So we want to use wait for child just to make sure. And base uh, wait for child has a second parameter. The second parameter is basically the amount of time. So it says number timeout. So by default it would be five. It would wait five seconds, and if it doesn't, then it will have an infinite yield. But let's say if we have a um a um a leader stats folder, but because your game is lagging, uh, you'd want to do math dot huge. And math.huge basically means infinite. So that means if, let's just say, uh, we want to wait forever for the base plate because your game's really slow. We'll use math.huge and math.huge will wait for the base plate forever. Forever. Until it gets base plate. So it's pretty much the same as repeat wait do workspace find first child base play. This is the same exact thing and this one's gonna repeat wait until it gets workspace but definitely use wait for child over this because repeat wait is bad for your system everyone says that it is true most people use this because they don't know that wait for child has a second parameter and that second parameter is math dot oh is the amount of timeout time so you can like specify, oh, I want to wait 30 seconds, or I want to wait 10 seconds. But you really wouldn't use the second parameter unless if you know that it will take a very long time, so you would just put math.huge. And you know it's going to be there, so you definitely don't want to use wait for child if you're unsure that the object's going to be there, or else it will be waiting for something that will never exist. So... Yeah, definitely utilize the second parameter. Never use repeat wait. Repeat wait is just bad. Um, and also, I accidentally skipped 
find first child second parameter. So let's look at find first child second parameter. So let's say we got a uh, base plate again equals workspace find first child base plate. And it says here bool recursive. Now bool recursive basically means thoroughly check. Thoroughly check. So check it really well. Or repeat check. Recursive means it's pretty much recursive itself. It's basically a synonym for repeat. Recursive basically means repeat. So I'm guessing that if we set this to true, it's probably set to, to false automatically, but if we set the second parameter to true, then recursive basically finds first child of base plate twice. That is what I am guessing. And so when will we when will you use the second parameter? Um, don't use it all the time. I think that might slow down your game too much when you're using find first child with true. So don't don't do the second parameter. Don't use the second parameter unless if you need to. So when do you need to use the second parameter of find first child? Well, pretty much I'm guessing that you would use this for some objects that could destroy. So for example, we have base plate, right? And inside of base plate, we have a weld, right? And we know weld's gonna be there, so we would do wait, uh, wait for child. So let's change the base plate to um, wait for child. And then inside of base plate, we want to get the weld dot weld. But the problem with doing this is that what if weld's not there? So in this scenario, you would use find first child weld and yes this will work this basically means weld oops that does not mean base plate so we're getting the weld inside of base plate but why is this uh why would we use the second parameter in this scenario because this is a weld um well pretty much welds could get destroyed and we definitely want to check that the game finds it because it's necessary in our scenario it's basically a very um, secure way of find first child because we definitely don't want to use wait for child for weld because if we did that what if weld was destroyed then we would have a error that says infinite yield impossible weld because weld was destroyed by an explosion so we would use find first child turn the recursive on which is this second parameter the recursive and this is just a secure way of checking to find it because we need weld so it's like um a very valuable type of find first child like if we could not use wait for child we definitely would want to use the recursive which would be find first child repetitively but i think it would repeat maybe twice so what i'm guessing is that if you use the second parameter of find first child it basically means that you will find that object twice. You will look for that object twice. And if it doesn't, then it will return false. So definitely, uh, I would use the second parameter of find first child if it's something that is destroyable. So like welds, welds would destroy from an explosion, but you definitely need it, right? It's because you don't want to miss it out. Say if you have a script that you need to change the weld second or the part one's uh, parent or the part one's item so you want to call the weld to make sure that you have it and you so you can change it definitely use uh, find first child and set it to true and yeah that's pretty much it I hope that is not confusing to you guys um, this might be confusing in this scenario so let me just do dot base play so pretty much just use find first child for welds that's pretty much what I'm trying to say or um, and make the second parameter true which basically means recursive and recursive means repeat so it is a safety a safety type of find for child it basically checks it twice I'm pretty sure so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that wasn't confusing um, and I'll see you guys next time